subject verb structure. Look at this first column. We have subjective pronouns. Here is a noun phrase. Second column contains anomalous verbs. Third column contains lexical verbs. And the last column contains noun phrases. So let's look at the structure. They, we, you, I, has or have. Now, all of these are plural subjective pronouns, except I. I is a singular subjective pronoun, but I usually take plural verb. The reason is because I is a first person pronoun, and as a rule, first person pronouns take plural verb. So we have, they have, we have, you have, I have. Now, coming here, we have a list of lexical verbs. Have and has are anomalous verbs. After anomalous verb, the next lexical verb must be verb 3, that is past participle verb. So let's look at it. Have withdraw. No, this is wrong. Withdraw is verb 1. Have withdraws. Wrong. Withdraws is verb 5. Have withdrew. Wrong. Withdrew is verb 2. Have withdrawn. Correct. Withdrawn is verb 3, which is past participle. So that we have, have withdrawn some money. And the sentence reads, They, we, you, I have withdrawn some money. Next, it, he, she, has or have. These are singular subjective pronouns, and so they take singular verb. It follows that these go with has, so that we have it has, he has, she has. Now, coming here, we have the lexical verb. As explained earlier, after anomalous verb, the next lexical verb must be verb 3, which is past participle. So let's go. Has drive. Wrong. This is verb 1. Has drives. Wrong. This is verb 5. Has drove. Wrong. This is verb 2. Has driven. Correct. This is verb 3. Past participle verb. So that we have has driven a car and the sentence reads it he she has driven a car next the school has or have you try this then go goes gone went you try this what do you think is the right structure for this sentence? Put your answer in the comment section. Thank you.